Hi everyone, I'd like to show you some useful technology that's um, uh, very powerful when you're doing backups on a Linux system. You may find yourself in a situation where you have to back up uh, a large amount of data and uh, the services or applications that are accessing, accessing that data uh, really can't afford to be down for long. Uh, so in this case, the ideal backup solution would be one that um, uh, would be very, very quick and uh, of course uh, it wouldn't be a proper backup unless the data was consistent uh, at least to a point in time. So uh, what I'm going to show you is a technology that allows you to create a, a mirror or um, a copy on write snapshot of a logical volume. And um, uh, very, very quick. And uh, as files are modified on the original logical volume, uh, they'll be copied over. So uh, another nice benefit of the technology is it really doesn't use a lot of uh, disk space. So uh, say, for instance, you're backing up a logical volume that none of the data is changing, um, hypothetically speaking, of course, um, then the uh, copy on write snapshot would use almost no disk space whatsoever. Uh, now, if, uh, let's say, a 10 meg file uh, is modified, then uh, the copy on write snapshot will use 10 megs, and we'll see that in the uh, parameters of the command. So, uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the LVS command. This will show me a list of logical volumes on my system. So in this case, this is just my uh, workstation, so I didn't bother partitioning the um, logical volumes uh, uh, in any elaborate way. I just have one big one big disk that's uh, 147 gigs, roughly. Uh, it's about 142 after formatting. Um, there's a second one, uh, slightly smaller, for uh, swap space, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't even check that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to use the LV create command to uh, create a snapshot of my um, log ball 00, zero this is the first logical volume, uh, which is 147 gigs or so. Uh, so I do that with the LV create command. Now I mentioned that as files change, they'll be copied, um, so the original data will be preserved. Um, I can limit the size of that, and in this case I'm going to limit it to 32 meg. I can uh, specify whatever I want, uh, 10, 24 meg, or much you know, larger, smaller, what have you. Uh, there is a limit. Um, I have to experiment to figure out exactly what that limit is, but uh, I, think it might, I think it might actually be 30 to me. Now, uh, I'm going to give it a name. So the new logical volume, I'm going to call it Backup1. You can call it uh, the, the uh, date and time that you made the, uh, the logical volume. That would, that would work fine. And then I'm going to back up my uh, first logical volume. So I'm going to say dev ball group 00 for the first uh, logical volume group, and in this case the only logical volume, volume group on my system. Log ball 00. And I must not forget, I have to include the snapshot option. Hit enter. Bang. And you see it doesn't take very long. Um, now I have this backup. Snapshot, and I could actually go, go take lunch, uh, go home for the night, come back, uh, provided the system you know, doesn't crash or do something weird. Uh, that data will, will be preserved uh, as is, and so that I can I can back up the data when it's um, a downtime. Maybe the the servers are less less busy. So this will allow you to take backups uh, high peak times. It's very quick, and um, you see for the duration of the LV create command, I can. Um, uh, stop the server or simply pause the service, whether it's the database server, uh, the web server, whatever the application happens to be, just pause it temporarily, take a snapshot with LV create, and then unpause it. So it's you know really a, a second or so of disruption. Um, I don't recommend um, taking a snapshot without uh, doing so because you may be writing to multiple files and you may find yourself, like for example in your in the database table, you may find that um, a transaction is partially committed, so it's better to to make sure you're consistent to a point in time, and uh, the application or service, be it a database server, or web server, uh, uh, application, whatever you're using, will have uh, a natural uh, consistency point in which you'll uh, you do the snapshot. Now I can then create a mount point to mount uh, this logical volume. There we go. Call it flash snapshot. I'm now going to mount the logical the snapshot logical volume to that uh, mount point. There we go. And you'll see it behaves like a regular disk. I can go 
uh, run the command on it. You can see it looks like a um, uh, the size of the logical volume uh, that I'm snapshotting. And in fact, uh, it has all the same files, and I can read the files. Um, and so this allows me to take a backup at my leisure. Now I'll also also show you the LVS command again, and you'll see it now shows the uh, uh, backup uh, one logical volume that I created the snapshot. It also shows you the size, so it says uh, it's 32 megs, and this, at this point it's using 12%. I run it again, I'm now at 13.62%. What's happening there is that uh, files are changing on the um, uh, log ball 00, zero um, logical volume, and so it's copying over the data. So this uh, logical volume is filling up slowly. Um, now I made it uh, 32 megs, and that's why it appears to be filling up quite quickly. I could have made it, you know, a gig or two, and that would have uh, obviously changed the percentage and changed the rate in which it fills up. Now just to demonstrate the behavior, I'm going to go to my home directory, a directory I called Snapshot Demo. I have to put some data to a file. Um, actually. Um, I already had some data in the file. Now, uh, I had run this demo once before and my video capture crashed, so the reason why it says this is the new data is actually incorrect. This is actually the old data that I have snapshotted. Now, what I'm going to do is dip this against the snapshot. You'll see it's exactly the same. Okay, so this is the uh, home directory, the original uh, file that has been snapshotted, and then the uh, uh, file, or uh, I guess evil clone, that's on the snapshot logical volume that's why I mounted it. Uh, so roots home directory snapshot demo, and then text file that text. So if you get them, they're exactly the same. Now I'm going to change the one in my home directory. I'm going to make it the new new data. So what we should expect to see is now they're different, and um, the one from snapshot root snapshot demo, so the actual um, uh, snapshot log logical volume should have the same data that it did before, and obviously I just wrote to my home directory so it's been updated. And sure enough, you can see there's a difference, and uh, uh, it says I described, so I modified the one on the uh, log vol 00, zero logical volume, and uh, it, it didn't... Uh, inhibit me from making modifications in any way, and the snapshot logical volume remains exactly the same as it was when I took the snapshot. Okay, so you see what you can do now is, uh, now I can back up with uh, rsync or tar or gzip, uh, whatever tool I'd like, you know, uh, whatever backup utility I'm interested in using. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount it. And if I want to get rid of it, what I'll do is do, um, I'll use the LVS command to see it there. That'll be removed. Dev ball group zero zero backup one. Now uh, this is one of those commands you want to set on your fingers for a moment. Just make sure you type it right. Uh, it will prompt you to make sure you, you really want to do this. Um, as far as I know, it won't let you um, remove an active volume. So for example, my root uh, file system. Uh, although I'm not inclined to test that on this system. Uh, if anybody's interested in trying it out on uh, a system that they just freshly installed and can reinstall, then uh, you know, drop me an email and let me know how it goes. I suspect it will probably prevent you from doing that, but uh, I'm not going to try it on this system. I've got some critical information on it. So I'll say yes. It's gone. And uh, there we go. So uh, that's how you can create an instant um, snapshot. It doesn't, doesn't use a lot of disk space. It keeps it consistent. The data is consistent within a point in time. And um, um, as files change, it'll uh, it'll copy them on 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 write. So I hope you find this at least uh, somewhat useful. It uh, certainly saved me a lot of times, and I uh, uh, find it very very uh, helpful in terms of uh, doing backups. And so, virtually eliminated the notion of uh, downtime or service interruption uh, for backups from my perspective. So, uh, and the nice part is this doesn't require any special uh, hardware or equipment. So if you've got uh, a modern Linux distribution that uh, uses logical volumes, in this case I'm using uh, Fedora Core, uh, this will work just fine. Uh, if you did find it useful, we have other useful tips and tricks and uh, videos and information. 
Uh, visit our website at fosslc.org. That's F-O-S-S-L-C dot O-R-G. Thank you.